Next stop for Guy is Staffordshire. And the headquarters of one of Britain's most successful engineering companies. RGSCB. I said Rochester, but it's not Rochester, it's, um, how do you say it, are you? Roster. Roaster. Roaster, yeah, you say Roaster. It's a hell of a spot, isn't it? In 22 factories across the world, JC Bamford Excavators Limited produce 80,000 machines every year. 80,000? I know, you won't think, I, I, I had to ask that three times. How many? 8,000? No, 80,000. Now they're going to build the hole for Guy's tank. And Martin Molson, chief engineer in experimental products, is the man in charge of making it happen. We wanted to get involved in this project because it's the innovation of the Mark IV tank from a century ago. It's just a great British manufacturing story. Replicating that 100-year-old innovation in just a few weeks is a massive ask for Martin and his team. Luckily, though, they've been given a big helping hand. And ironically, it's come from Germany. I'm Thorsten. I'm a 20-year-old physicist from Germany. Thorsten Brand, a young lad, very, very German. I suppose he would be with a name like that, wouldn't he? Um, yeah, he loves making models. I've been a modeler since I was a child and over time I realized that the model kits available on the market are just not good enough. Torsten now makes his own models from scratch. And when he decided to make a World War I tank, that became his biggest project yet. In the past few years I've been working on a CAD program of the Mark IV tank. I had so much fun doing research. Working from photos and measurements, he has created a near-perfect 3D computer-aided design, or CAD, of a female Mark IV tank. And he's given all his data to JCB, so Guy's tank will be a female. I saved us a load of time, and it would have made this job a right lot tougher. At JCB, Torsten's CAD was handed to design engineer Tom Beamish, who, using the company's advanced computer technology, has spent weeks turning it into something even more extraordinary. We got Torsten's CAD model, which was fantastic, and it was a historical representation of it, but we couldn't then take that and manufacture it with our processes. Right. So what I had to do was take the design plate by plate and then convert it into something that we can then manufacture with, right. with laser cutters. And so what we've done is we've maintained it to look exactly the same as Torsten's model from the outside but there's a lot of little secrets that we put into it. Go on, tell us one. All of the welding, for example, is on the back side of the plates. Mm -hmm. None of the welding is visible externally. The rivets are mock-ups of rivets. All fake rivets. And for what reason? Why not rivets? Because we weld them. Right, right, right. For heavy equipment, for steel work, welding is definitely the, um, the new technology, which has come along and taken over from the old riveting. The bottom of the hull, originally would have been lots of separate plates. Yeah. Um, what we've done is we've used one or two sheets, mm -hmm. but in order to keep the authenticity, we've put the rivets in anyway. Nobody yeah. will ever see it unless Nobody they're will on ever their knees. That. That's the detail. Torsten's original CAD data had all of the external surfaces, but none of the internal surfaces. Yes. So we've had to put in the inside, the structure. Obviously, I can't go inside it. Could see what we can do. So if you want to pop that on just get comfortable with it. Yeah. Well, I put that um, 3D thing on. We'll just stand you there for a second. Yeah. What's it called? VR. What did you call it? VR. Oh, so it's, it's right good, isn't it? Virtual reality headset. So if you step to your right a bit, and then so you're looking at the front, that'll do that. I'm not eating out, am I? No, no. You didn't see what I saw. You can actually see the tank in front of I you can, I can't see my hand mind. But no. I can see the, the tank. You can see what I saw. This is bloody brilliant, this. You keep coming to the left. And there's just the tank stood there, and I could walk round it, the doors are opening. Oh, I open the doors, yeah. I could go through the latches, get inside it. You can see right up the gun barrel. Yeah. It's all here. I could climb out, I think. I'll go into the right you... or the left. If you keep on going, that's fine. Yeah. Good laugh, yeah. Watch my head on that thing, I'll snap my head on that. <laughs> that's it, I'm out now. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to hit you out. <laughs> yeah, great system, great system, really impressed. Hey, this is the future, isn't it?